Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share a devotion entitled That Glorious Day. That Glorious Day. I want to read from 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 2. It says, For you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. For you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. You know, when the Apostle Paul planted a church in Thessalonica, he had little time to establish the new believers in their faith. According to Acts chapter 17, verse 2, he was driven from town to town by persecuting, by persecuting mob after two or three weeks of teaching in each town. But evidently, Paul left the Thessalonians with a deep belief, right? A deep belief in our Lord Jesus' return. They were so eager to learn more about the second coming of Jesus Christ that Paul wrote two letters to them, one, first and second Thessalonians, answering questions and stalking their anticipation of the Lord's soon appearing and in the cloud of glory. Those letters are, to, are for us too. They are full of information about the rapture of the church, the resurrection of the dead, and the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. Imagine how excited those early believers were to receive Paul's letters and soak in his teaching about the Lord's return. We too should eagerly digest every word in scripture about our Lord Jesus Christ's promised return to the earth for his church again to better anticipate the moment of his coming for you and for me. Amen. How differently we live if, if, if uh, we, like the Thessalonians, our hearts were seized with anticipation of for the glorious day. You know, one of the very important things we need to take note is that if you and I are soaked in the belief of what the Bible said, Jesus returning for His church one day, it will cause you to stir up in our hearts, number one, to win more souls for Jesus. Number two, you know, uh, to, to, to grow more in the Lord, to be more firm, to be more faithful. Number three, to continue to serve Him in the local church so that when He returns, He will find you and I faithful. Number four, it will cause you and I to want to, you know, go into the mission field, to travel in the mission, mission team of the church, to go out to do missions work. And number five, that you and I will continue to strengthen one another, encourage one another to be faithful, to committed for the cause of the kingdom because Jesus is coming back again. And lastly, that you and I will be fervent to follow Jesus, to study His Word, to grow, to prepare your heart and my heart, and looking forward in preparation ready for His return. Amen? In view of that, you and I will learn to forgive people, learn to be big-hearted, learn to embrace people who are in the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Aren't you glad that Jesus is returning back for you? So be prepared and ready for Him. Amen. Father, bless your people with a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day.